Yeah, I mean, it was fine. A um, little sluggish to start. Uh, obviously, it took us a little while to get going, but uh, nice, to, nice to be able to punch one in there. Uh, I guess, what was that, beginning of the second quarter? Could have got longer, but, um, you know, it's just at that stage where you're kind of chomping at the bit, ready to go. But, you know, uh, we had a plan in place that was, you know, to play a certain number of snaps. That was the number of snaps we played. It's, you know, it's just once you get, once you get in the flow of things, you, you know, you start having fun. Yeah, yeah. You, you want to end on a high note, um, but listen, we've gotten a lot of good work done this camp, and a lot of good work done this week with the Chargers practicing against them for a few days. Um, you know, would have liked to have maybe scored more than once tonight. Uh, we had a couple opportunities. Like I said, just took us a you know two or three drives to get going, but uh, glad that we were able to get the points that we got. Um, Spread it around. You know, everybody got some touches. Uh, so I think it was a productive night. Uh, just forced it. Forced it. Got a little over aggressive to start the game. When Sean was saying that he thinks the receiver depth chart is soft right now, how tough is it, you know, working with so many different guys, not knowing exactly who else you're going to get? Um, well, that's part of it. You know, we've um, got, got a couple guys that, uh, I mean, listen, you, you wish you could keep seven or eight, right? I think there's seven or eight that deserve that. Um, but um, unfortunately, you know, it, it's, it's, I don't know how many we're going to end up keeping at the receiver position. Some of that depends upon what's happening elsewhere, you know, and what type of special teams contributions or return contributions those guys make as well. So we'll see how it shakes out. But uh, whoever we do decide with, I think the roles will be clear and defined and we'll be ready to move forward. Um, yeah, you, you, you know, I, I, I feel like uh, there's some guys that have been in the system now for a little bit, you know, and so maybe they, they already have two years of practice squad under their belt or a year, or, um, you know, kind of pl playing a limited role over the past couple of years. But bottom line is they have a couple of years um, in our system. And so then th there just becomes more confidence and more of a comfort level, uh, not just in the system, but, you know, me with them. And, and so... I feel like I've got some pretty good chemistry with, with a lot of guys. Um, wish we could keep them all. <laughs> is Austin Powell one of those guys, and how do you feel like he's been? Yeah, I think he's, I think he's come along, you know, ever since he came in last year. Um, you know, everything was pretty well set, you know, with the depth chart last year. But he, um, you know, he got a few opportunities last year, not many. Um, I think he's definitely made the most of his opportunities um, thus far this, this preseason um, and, and made some plays tonight. Uh, I think I think all of us. I mean, I know I did, um, but just talking with some guys, you know, to start, it just didn't 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 feel like didn't feel like we had the tempo that we usually do. Um, you know, the execution wasn't wasn't on point um, like we wanted. So that's what I meant by that. Is that normal for preseason for you? Yeah, yeah. I think you got to shake off the rust a little bit. Um, you know, get under the lights, start playing games again. However many snaps I get. <laughs> no, but, but like, like this isn't something where, where you couldn't be uh, you couldn't be just thrown in there week one without any preseason. No, I, I like I like getting reps. You know, I, I like my reps. I like my reps in uh, in practice and in the preseason. And um, you know, I, we've had a very good plan. You know, ever since I've been here, and I think the the preseason strategy changes has changed. You know, as as I've you know, kind of made my way through my career with the Saints. Um, you know, last year was the first year where I only played one preseason game, and that's kind of what we did again this this year, this preseason. Um, not sure if I'll play in the fourth one or not, but um, but in years past, you know, it, like there was a time where it was it was all four, and then it became three, and then it became two, and now it's one. You know, and so you just un understanding that hey, there's a lot of young guys that you know, listen, they're trying to get Tom Savage reps, or trying to get Taysom reps. Um, you know, JT will probably get a lot of reps next week. Um, so there's just a lot of guys to get reps and evaluate and help give some experience. The way Taysom last one. Yeah. How impressive was that? Real impressive. Um, it was funny because uh, before he went in the game, you know, I watched him make a special teams tackle. I had watched him convert a, you know, 
uh, fake punt for a first down. Um, and so he gets in there, and, and I, and I, le- I kind of say to uh, Mark Ingram, I'm like, hey, he, if he can run for a touchdown and throw a touchdown, he will have done all these things in this game, you know? And then sure enough, he runs for one, and then he throws for one. So um, can't say enough about him. Um, just his contributions to the team and his, his mindset, his work ethic, his, you know, unselfishness, just, you know, whatever he can do to help this team. And listen, he, he wants to play quarterback. He loves quarterback. He's, he's making strides, you know, in, in developing a, uh, a comfort level with this offense and with the guy, guys that he's playing with. I mean, but can you imagine, you know, imagine the load that's on you as a quarterback. And then, you know, couple that with being a four-core special teams guy. You know, that's, there's a lot on that guy's plate, and he has handled it as well as anybody could handle it. And so I think that's why he's so well-respected by the entire team, and, and, and I, I love being in the same room with the guy. Thanks, guys.